One summer and the rest of a life. Part two. Have you lost something? <sighs> no. What did you lose? Anna has disappeared somewhere, and I'm worried. Maybe she's shopping. I've already looked. She's not there. Anna, come out here! The door's locked. We shouldn't. There's a lot of things we shouldn't do. Saul's right to be worried. Did you bring this letter to her? No, of course not. The envelope isn't signed. There's no address either. That means someone brought it here. Or they gave it to her. What if she was attacked? She could be lying in the house right now and needs help. And I asked Ivan to open the door, but he didn't want to. Did you have an argument with your boyfriend? He isn't my boyfriend. I don't really care. Are you gonna use the window to get in? Yeah. And you can stay here and wait for your Ivan. Are you coming in? Disgusting. This place is a mess. Anna's always been a neat person. She doesn't leave things out like this. You've been here before? Yeah. Look around. Is anything missing? There was a laptop on the table. And a phone. But they're not there. They could be in the office. They aren't in there. Something definitely happened because of me. Why do you think so? She called and asked for help, but I was busy and couldn't get to her. I didn't even ask her what was wrong. It's my fault. You don't know that for sure. Maybe she was kidnapped or killed. If she was killed, there'd be a body. Kidnapping her and taking her elsewhere to kill her doesn't make sense either. She lives alone, right? No one would hear her scream here. If she could call you, she could call the police. Then how do you explain this? The picture we found of her? The wolf? Tell me. Someone wanted to scare her. And the picture's clearly fake. Maybe she left in a hurry? Or she was running from something. She twisted her leg recently. She could barely walk, let alone run. Wait a sec. What is it?
my dad's medallion. It's strange, after he died, I looked almost everywhere for it. Where'd it come from? My dad and Anna didn't know each other. Maybe they did. We should go and see Ivan and show him this letter. He'll listen to both of us. Ivan, huh? He'll say that's a prank. Just kids having fun. What do we do then? Nothing, Vera. No one will do anything here. They'll accept the application, but that's where it ends. If someone goes missing here, it's their relative's problem. Our missing person has no relatives. Which means that only the two of us can help her. So we'll help her then. I would also like to find her. Wait a second. Kuzminichna. Oh. Oh, it's you. Hello. Nice to meet hello. you. Hello, hello, hello. Have you seen your neighbor at all today? Do you mean Anna? No. She lives alone and hasn't made an effort to make any friends. Mm-hmm. Hold on, Oleg. Who were you with yesterday? They came from town, right? No one. They were at Anna's then. There are only two houses there, yours and hers. Who visited her? It was Murzin's assistant in his expensive car. I went up to him and I asked him what he was doing here, and he just got in his car and drove off. What do you need Anna for? Well, she asked me to come and see her, but she isn't home. It's weird. She'll come back, don't worry. She couldn't have gone far. Mm. Thank you. See you Thank you so see much, ma'am. Should we go and find out what Mersin's assistant was doing here the other day? Can I come with you? I don't need you to help me. Wait a sec. Uh, I can't stay, I'll worry, and I need to find her. Just let me come with you. I can take the bus if you want me to. No, you'll take too long. I leave every eight hours. What would you like me to do then? Okay, let's go. What is it, Vera? Uh-huh. All right. Don't be gone too long. Okay, then. What's up? Vera said she's coming home late. Why? What's going on? Apparently, Anna's disappeared. She's gone to look for her. With who? She doesn't have a car. I don't know. Will you come back to help me with these currents? Would you look at that? You and Oleg used to be together, right? Then your sister came and took him from you. Yeah. Hmm. Did someone ask you to come and do this? Aunt Nadia, <gasps> it was an accident! What the hell is this? Nadia! I'm Nadia, tired Nadia, of all of this! I am so tired of everything! Stop it, Nadia! I'm tired what are of you, you doing? <laughs> You lost your mind? Why would you do something like that? What are you doing, you silly girl? Don't mind her, sweetheart. Don't let her outburst upset you. Let's change and go to the store. We'll buy lots of sweets. Would you like that? I would. All right, then. Aunt Nadia will stay and cook jam while we're gone, understand? Do you understand or not? Let's go inside, dear. Come on. Let's go get you warm. Come on. You must be scared. Yeah. Lucky you. That's Mersin's car, which means his assistant is here. 
Is Lipatov his assistant? Do something about this? Yeah. You know him? Yeah, he gave me and my daughter a ride. Who is that? What do you want me to do? That is Mirzin, the district head, our ah. local king. Uh-huh. I see who you're hanging out with Hello, now. Hello, what do you mean by that? What are you two doing here? Are you going to complain to Morzin about me? I'm not complaining about anyone. I'm here for Lipitov. How do you know Lipitov? And why do you care? Sorry, but you're too late. Don't lie. Morzin's car is here. His car Let's is go. here, but Lipitov isn't. Is he fired? He's dead. They found him a few hours ago. I wouldn't suggest you see Morzin now. He's in a bad mood. He wants the killer found. He's even involved the village cops. I have other things to take care of. And now Lipitov too. Anyway, what did you need to talk to him about? We wanted to say hi. Let's go. There's a cafe nearby. Let's have some lunch. And discuss everything. I'll have tea. Yura, it's me. <laughs> oh, Nadia, you sound different. Do you know that Vera is here? Of course I know that. I just wanted to ask if the two of you are over for good, or if you're having a lover's quarrel or something like that. Why are you asking about this, Nadia? I just wanted to help you get Vera back. I've done it before, haven't I? I don't get it. Are you worried about your sister or yourself? Your family, Yura. You love each other. You have a child. She's losing her mind without you. She's got a job at the post office and is playing detective with Oleg. Wait a second. Which Oleg? The Oleg that was her first love. Okay, I didn't want to tell you this yet, but I'm actually already on my way up to see you guys. But don't tell Vera, all right? All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I can't believe it. That's horrible, poor guy. I don't get it. He was fine when I last saw him. What if your friend, Anna, killed him? Maybe he threatened her and she killed him and ran. She couldn't do that. Anna could barely hurt a fly. She's a good person. A good person would have be sent a letter like the one we found. Maybe it's not Lipitov. Well, who knows? We don't know why he was at her house either. Maybe it had something to do with books. What? Was he a bookworm? Maybe he just got lost. I guess the village is pretty big. Do you guys need anything else? I can't watch you just drinking tea. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help? Could we get another meal, please? No problem. No, I'm not hungry. Look at this. What? Take it. The watermark. You see it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same one used in the district administration. Are you sure? Yeah. I got documents from Forestry a few days ago. It was the same. The assistant's involved. He was the one who last saw her. Here's your lunch, ma'am. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal. Lipitov couldn't have done it. He's not that kind of person. But Mirzin could have told him to. How come? Anna might have gotten in the way. How could a children's writer ever get in the way of, um, a district head. That's what we need to try and find out. I need to find her and ask her where she got my dad's medallion from. Sorry. 
I just found out that Uncle Boris passed away. I can't imagine how you got through it. How have the past few years been? Do you even care? You betrayed me. You betrayed me too. Really now? Did I find a rich fiance in Moscow? You went to the army and got married. Where is she? Did she run? What about you? Why'd you split? Not enough money? Thanks for getting me lunch. Wait, Vera. Get in the car. No thanks, I'll walk. It's 10 kilometers. I could walk 100. Hold on a sec. Don't touch me. Don't Just... touch me, Oleg. Everything okay, ma'am? Everything's fine. Mm. Why don't we make a deal? Let's not mention the past. There's no need. We'll find Anna, then we're done. We'll go our separate ways. That's a great idea. It's the best idea you've had yet. Ah, look who it is, your mom. <laughs> Go on. Hi, Mom! Mom, look at what Dad bought for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello, Vera. I brought Nika's favorite scooter from home, but I had no idea the roads here were so terrible. You look great, though. I'm glad to see you. Nika, take Gosha. Go upstairs and play. What are you doing here? We need to talk we about... We don't. Vera, come on, please. Nadia, let's go outside. Mom, you can stay. Yura's leaving now. Vera, can you forgive me, please? I was out with my partners that day, and I drank a little too much. My secretary took advantage of that. You've been dating for a year. She lied to you. We only got together once, and I was drunk. The day you came over was- Stop it. I'm not interested in hearing details. I lost my way for a moment and betrayed you. It won't happen again, I swear. I don't believe you. Now go. That woman means nothing to me. I love you. And Nika. I'm sorry, really. If you don't care about me, at least think about your daughter. She can't not have a dad. Do not use her to defend yourself. Enough. Get out. Vera, come on. If you don't leave right now, I will leave. All right, I'll wait for you to forgive me. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye, Yura. <laughs> Are you insane? He came crawling to you and you... Vera, wait. Just try to forgive him for what he did. I can't do that, Mom. I remember the day I went into his office. And he was on the couch with that girl. She laughed in my face, you know. 
We all make mistakes. Remember how he would take care of you? He waited for you and came from the city. Hira loves you. He wouldn't have come here if he didn't. You just have no idea how much he hurt me. You know, once your dad and I, we fought so badly that he wanted to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. And then he went on a business trip. He met someone while he was there and fell in love. I just couldn't believe it. The news devastated me. You and Nadia were still quite young. Eventually, he came back, and he asked me to forgive him. I'm sorry, Mom. What could I do? I forgave him. We thought about what the divorce would do to you. So we started over. It was like nothing had ever happened. We were so happy after that. <laughs> the whole village envied us. I remember that. When he passed away... No, oh, Mom. I thought I wouldn't survive. <sighs> but thanks to you and your sister Nadia, I'm still here today. That's why I ask. Don't react too quickly. <laughs> you have a daughter. Think about it, okay? Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> I just need you not to cry, okay? <laughs> Don't cry, Mom, please. <gasps> You're right, sweetheart. That's enough. I'll go and warm up dinner. <laughs> Where have the girls gone? They got sandwiches and then went outside to ride Nika's scooter. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Thank you, Mom. How's the investigation going, Miss Marple? Just enjoy your food. Thanks, Vera. Hey, Vera. Why do you care about Anna anyway? Mom, there's no one else. Anna's a stranger to us. Merzen's assistant was murdered today. It might be related to Anna's case, so it's quite serious. They're investigating it. My goodness. Farah. Mom. I'm begging you, don't interfere in this. Especially with Oleg. I'll go and call the girls inside. They should be eating with us. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Lena, where's Nika? She went to the river. Who is she with? No one? Be careful, you might fall in. It's slippery.
she breathing? She swallowed water. <sighs> Nika, just breathe. <sighs> Nika, my baby. <sighs> my baby. Keep quiet, please. Breathe, Nika. Come on. <laughs> oh. oh, thank God. It's out. I'm okay. Nika, I was so worried. Oh. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, Mom. My little girl. Come on, I'll take you home. Or you'll get sick. Yesterday? Um, weren't we all? We were all in the water. Thank you. You saved Nika. I'll always be grateful. She's a wonderful kid. She is quite curious. <laughs> She's so curious, I have to watch her all the time. <laughs> What is it? It's those guys. Criminals. But it's okay, I'll deal with them. But aren't you... gonna look for Anna? I am. I can do both at once. I found out where she was published. I got the place's address. Maybe they can tell us where to find her, or not. Yeah. So we're going? Are you free? I am. Anna's been working remotely. She only ever comes here to sign her contracts. And those contracts should have her address in them, right? Just in case? Unfortunately, that's confidential information. I can't just give you guys her address. Look, sir, we're her neighbors. She's an old woman who's suddenly gone missing. She's not at home, and her phone is off. The subscriber is not available, either due to low coverage or their phone is off. We're just worried about her. I can't give you guys her address. But let's do this. I'll send a package to her. If I hear from her or the courier, I'll give you a call. Sounds good. Write your number here for me, please. Thank you. Don't forget to call us. Of course, of course. See you around. But you know, you don't earn much from children's books. Uh, and because of that, some writers often take on freelance work elsewhere. Newspapers, magazines, maybe she went on a business trip. I looked online. You're the only publishing house she's published with. Yeah, but she can work as a journalist under an alias. Ah, all right, thank you. See thank you soon. You. Goodbye. Goodbye. this genetic? What? Clumsiness. Your daughter fell yesterday. Now you fell today. I can't find anything else online about Anna. <sighs> Dead end. Articles containing Olga. Give him back, you've been playing. 
playing with him for two days. It's my turn now. Well, you've been living in this house for free and you've also been sleeping in my room. So I'll play with him until I get bored. Give him back. No. Give it. No. Give it. Too bad we went for nothing. I should tell Ivan to look for Anna. It's part of his job description. Good luck with that. After my dad died, I tried to prove it wasn't a suicide. He did nothing. You think Uncle Boris was killed? My dad wasn't that kind of person. He didn't kill himself. Right. He was a kind and strong man. Do you remember when he caught us in the barn in 10th grade? <sighs> I'm sorry, Oleg. We both agreed that we wouldn't talk about the past. He won't look for Anna. Because... This might be connected to Mirzin. I don't get it. Mirzin is district head. And Lipitov is his assistant. If he's involved in this, Mirzin will slow down the investigation. Then Ivan won't do anything. And what kind of person is Mirzin? The worst kind of person there is. He would sell his own mom, rather than his forests. You think he has something to do with the deforestation? Of course he does. He's the head of the district, isn't he? He's either responsible or he's covering for someone. I'd be happy if he got arrested. But I have no proof. Okay, let's go. Can we go past the store, please? I need to buy something. Okay? Of course. Thank you. my sweetheart. What have you been up to? What's mom doing? Mom had to go and do something, and I... What's going on? What's wrong, sweetheart? Huh? Are you crying? Dad, can you please come over? I'm really upset. Of course, of course I'll come, dear. I'll punish whoever it is that upset you, I promise. That's it, we can go. Wolves are predators. I wonder who could be calling. I'm sorry. Yes, sweetheart? Mom, when will you come back home? Soon. Come back right now. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I forgot. I actually know Lipatov's girlfriend. Skusha Frolova. She works at the gym. Why don't we go there to talk to her? Maybe she knows something. It's too late. Fitness clubs are open till midnight. Those are clubs in the city. They close early over here. I didn't think about that. Thank you. Now if you put the doll's dress on like this, that's what she'll look like. Thank you. Like this one? Yeah. So she'll look like this one? Yes, yeah, she will. Do you like it? Uh-huh. Good evening. Didn't you go back to town? No. Farrah, dear, here. We need to talk. Let's go outside. Take this, sweetheart. I'm sorry, Vera. And I fired that crazy secretary, by the way. There will be another one. No, there won't be. I hired a man in her place. I'm ready to do anything for you and our daughter if it means that you'll come back home to me. I'm not sure. I need some more time. Mm. I need to think things over and calm down. I understand. I'll wait until you're ready to forgive me. I'm a fool, I realize that. And I know that you'll make your decision soon because you're a... You're a kind and generous person. Your phone is ringing. Answer it.
Yura? Yes, hello? We have an appointment today. Did you forget about it? I can't talk now. I'll call you back, all right? Goodbye. Nothing has changed at all. You should go. That was just my investor's referent. Stop lying to me. Vera. It's just a referent. <sighs> Hira. Yeah? What's wrong? It's nothing. What are you doing just standing here? What kind of man can't grab his wife and take her back by force? You don't know your sister very well. You can never make her do anything she doesn't want to do. That means we need a different plan. Well, if you ask me nicely, then maybe I'll help you out. I've brought you together once. I can do it again. <laughs> can you help me out, please? No problem. We're now both in this together. Cousin. <laughs> Where do we start? I want you to report her every move to me. Every step she takes. I'll be close by. Do we have a deal? It's a deal. That's great. Now go inside. Hera is such a wonderful man. I just saw him off. He was so emotional. He loves you and Nico a lot. Forgive him. Why ruin your family because of a secretary? It's clear it wasn't serious. Why are you defending him, Nadia? Some girl called him while we were outside. He's not bored without us. It could have been a call from work. At night? Come on. He's a businessman. People call him to discuss business with him. Are you going to be jealous of everyone who calls him? If you're reacting like this, it means that you still love him. He lost his way for a sec. Just give him another chance. And then when you're all gone, I can start organizing my personal life. Am I bothering you by being here? I want a family with Oleg. Nothing can be going on between the two of you. He's only helping you with Anna, right? Um... All we're doing is finding Anna. That's it. I'll probably never see him again after we do that. Oleg, hello. Nadia, I've spoken to you already. I'm here about Vera. Vera's here and he wants to take her home with him. And why should I care? She's now under the impression that until you two find Anna, she won't be going anywhere. Well, it's not like I forced her to help me out. I know, but she's stubborn and won't listen to anyone. Vera's been waiting for her to hang up her detective hat, but he's had enough now. Can you tell Vera that you'll be okay without her? No problem. Thanks, Oleg. I beg you, please don't destroy their family. They have a daughter. They'll go home with Yura and go back to being a happy family. Are you done? I'm in a hurry.
Nika, don't move. Mom, where are we going today? Can we go to the river? Sweetheart, I don't think we can go today. I've got things to do. Okay. You're looking for that old woman. You have time for that, but you have no time for me. Now you know that isn't true. Firstly, Anna isn't an old woman. She just needs me to help find her. And secondly, you can still go to the river with your grandmother, right? I guess so. Make sure you stay close to her. Understand? Yeah. And once you're both back, in the evening, I'll be here. We'll play whatever games you want, okay? Hmm? Oh. All right, you can go look for Anna. I'll wait here for you. <laughs> You're such an angel. Hello. Let's go now. Just give me the address. I'll go by myself. We said we'd go together. What happened? Nothing. Give me the address, and go home. Go back to being a happy family with Yura. Why are you telling me what to do with my life? Who are you to give me those kinds of commands, Oleg? No one. I'm happy for you. Anyway, that's fine. I'll go by myself. How will you get there? By taxi. Vera, wait. Vera, wait! What? I can't let you go alone. How's this? We'll go to the club together and get what we need. Then you go home to your husband. Okay. That plan works for me. We find Anna, and then I go back home. To Yura? Yura. I'm happy for you. Isn't that too much joy for you? I mean, you tend to be indifferent. Let's go. Yeah, they were both there what? together. That's Imagine. Cool. Hold on a second. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Can you tell us where to find Kusha Forlova? Mm, sorry, she's on leave right now. Could I get her number, please? No, I can't do that. It's against the rules. Hmm. Make an exception. We made an agreement with Ksenia. All of our employees are getting memberships here. That's a lot of people, you know. Ah, a corporate membership. I think it's 15 to 20 people. She invited us all here. Uh, then I guess Max here can show you guys around. You're mm -hmm. in good hands. You'll get what you need here. Would you guys like a tour? I'll explain everything. Shall we? Vera, you go with him. I'll stay here. All right. Follow me, please. Tut in here. Yeah. Could I get some water, please? Sure. There's a cooler at the back. Help yourself. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Hello, Paul. How have you been? It's Hello been there. so long since I've seen you here. You look well. Don't flatter me. I saw my reflection this morning. I do not look my best. I've been so busy with work, I haven't had time to exercise. So is that what you've come here for? I'm in desperate need of an intense workout. Do you have anything like that here? Yes, of course. Mm. Come on with me. I'll show you some of the new machines mm. we got. I'm excited to see what you got. Ooh. 